Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I've gotten out of my gardening clothes and I'm back in something presentable. Uh, like this is really presentable. But at any rate, I wanted to tell you, uh, in an earlier video, in a previous video, I said something about, I'm going to come at you later with something about um, Islam. <laughs> Islam. <laughs> well, here's the deal. I was perusing Facebook, I think it was this morning, and my girlfriend Robin, the famous Robin, uh, who's the liberal, but she doesn't like PC, she lives in San Fran, and um, she posted something that was interesting, it was, uh, I didn't know what she was talking about, so I looked it up, Mars, I had to move because of Mars, um, something about these, there were marches for, there were marches in 29 states, ladies and gentlemen, or I think, about this, um, anti-sharia law march or something can i just gently yet effectively tell you something this whole scare tactic with sharia law is out of control and it must stop right now uh telling a religious um adherent to the uh, muslim faith of islam that he or she is not permitted to follow sharia is like telling a catholic that they need to back away from the um from their uh, canon, you know, from their particular commandments and whatnot. Or like, yes, Mars. Oh, God, Pat Hacker, take her off my hands. Or like telling an Orthodox Jew or even a conservative Jew, which I was a member of that, you know, I was a member of that particular congregation or whatever. Oh, no, you can't keep kosher and you can't do your holidays. And you, I mean, it means the same thing, ladies and gentlemen, like, oh, my God. Oh my, Poseidon, I can't get over it. The Sharia law crap, first of all, take a minute and go online and type in something about, into YouTube even, and uh, like uh, you could type in uh, Muslim Explains Sharia. You can listen to people that actually are members of that faith that adhere to certain aspects of Sharia. And let me just say this as well. If you took and followed everything in Judaism, for example, that was, you know, every jot and tittle written down uh, in the Old Testament, for example, although Judaism is actually based on the rabbinical interpretation and the Babylonian Talmud and all this, but there, whatever. Let's just stick with Christianity then. If you take, there are some really hideous texts in the Bible. Let's face it, ladies and gentlemen. Complete genocide. <clears throat> pardon me, um, save the virgins for yourselves, um, God shows how to perform an abortion, and numbers, I think it's chapter 15, if I'm not mistaken, somewhere in numbers, there's all kinds of atrocious, hideous things, if you remember, when Jesus was strolling through a field and picked some corn, the disciples kind of got on him about, uh, working, so to speak, on the Sabbath, I mean, you can stone people to death for working on the Shabbat, Come on, ladies and gentlemen. So, of course, there's going to be super-duper crazy people in any religion that are going to take their so-called holy texts too far. Not just Muslims. Do you know there are some really hideous crap unfolding in, that, in the Talmud? Very hideous stuff. And you know what? Orthodox Jews wake up every day, man, and say a prayer to God that uh basically thanking god they were born a man and a jew not a woman or not a woman and not a goyim a gentile if you want to really get ticked off at at a religion that um can't stand jesus or any of that i mean really loathes the ground he walks i would take a look at judaism now not just your average everyday people that are going to the temple but if you get into the heavy duty talmudic judaism um, you're going to see where the bear had the bowel movement in the forest. Yeah. It's not a good scene, ladies and gentlemen. I don't, you know, this whole thing of programming us or training us to fear Muslims and clutch our pearls and run to the streets over Sharia law, it's ridiculous. They have no desire to override our constitution or our courts with their religious law. I am really disgusted that people fall for this. Honest to Pete, I really am. It's, and I, you know, I'm not even a believer in any Abrahamic religion. I think you gathered that by now, and I've been pretty upfront about it. I don't go around bashing it, and that's my point right now. 
I find myself having to defend this stuff. Yeah, I do. Because it's just, it's gotten insane. And I'll tell you what, I've defended Christianity too when I thought that people were, I don't know, a bit too ridiculous about making fun of Christians and all. I've, I wrote columns about it. So it's not just, I'm not just some weird liberal, which I don't even identify as a liberal, that um, is sticking up for the Muslims. I hear that a lot lately. Oh, these people sticking up for the... I'm going to stick up for the right thing, ladies and gentlemen. And the right thing is to not partake in some ridiculous march about um, anti-Sharia law. That is literally like telling a Jew that he or she cannot keep the Ten Commandments, cannot keep kosher, or any of that stuff, or have work off on Saturday, you know, don't have to work, keep the Sabbath. That's literally the same idea. And by the way, I've made videos about this before, but let me just reiterate one more time, and then I will let you go, because I'm getting really wound up. And I'm hot. I'm outdoors. Okay, let's take a breath. The faith of Islam is much more welcoming, open to, etc., Jesus, than Judaism is. Hey, I know of what I speak, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, come on. Let this Sharia law fear leave your head. And remember I made a while back, I made a video that I said um, something along the lines of always ask yourself who benefits, who benefits from like a terrorist attack or, oh, a law being put into place or something like this or the PC or whatever. You know who really benefits from this? From the Christians hating the Muslims. Think about it, ladies and gentlemen. It's not Christians or Muslims that benefit from it, is it? Just saying. As I hate to say, I hate that saying, just saying. I think it's, well, that's kind of a joke with my friend Nicholas. I don't care for it, but that's okay. Well, you know, who cares what I like? Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. Thank you.